song? Did you write it yourself? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, does anyone here like the, the books called The Hunger Games? Oh. <laughs> it's about this uh, this boy who makes bread. And his adventures. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. That makes so and there's a sense. girl in it, too. <laughs> yeah, he's hungry. Or some bread. <laughs> this is a song about the very first chapter of the very first book of that, and uh, I'm going to need you guys' help on it. You want to sing along with this a little bit? Yeah. All right. Wake up late, it's a reaping day, head to the forest to read, yeah. It's a library, I hope they don't choose me, what my family do if I disappear. But in the square, have you read and stop burning, it nearly collapsed on the floor. Part. If you've never heard this song before, you just learned your part, so make sure you know next time <laughs> Beyond the train, it all seems so vain. I bite my tongue until it bleeds. Caught in between, I dream of the scene. At least my sister is safe at home. Unknown show. It's an English show called Doctor Who. Um, and I learned some valuable lessons from it. Um, mainly that you know, like optimism will always triumph, and intelligence is me. But the main thing that I learned from the show, if I'm being honest, is um, is that bow ties are cool. <laughs> Sing along. The library has a swimming pool, got an allergy to following rules. We're headed for a huge collision with an interstellar physician, cause he's the type of man you win for. Timeless quips and woody rap are headed for a huge collision with an interstellar physician, cause full ties are cool. Reset, spend your disbelief. Come fly with me Because bow ties are cool He said They all have space and time You could be mine
Santarins and Cybermen Somehow the Daleks are back again And we're heading for a huge collision With an interstellar position He's got the TARDIS on a screwdriver He'll regenerate the world, he's a survivor Headed for a huge collision With an interstellar position He goes for time, I could, he said Spend your disbelief The box. He makes it right, he makes it real. Whoa. Cause hopefulness is dead like seal. He's a madman with a box. He makes it right, he makes it real. Whoa. We're headed for a huge collision with an interstellar position. Headed for a huge collision with an interstellar position. Because bow ties are cool, he said. Suspend your disbelief and come fly with me. Realize that this comes because bow ties are cool, he said. Yeah, all of space and time, it could be mine. Uh, I'm going to play you guys a song right now. I'm going to give you a good choice. I can play like a... Uh, Oh a sappy love song. Ooh, or I can play a song oh, about being really freaked out, yeah. about being sorted into the incorrect house of Hogwarts. Yeah. 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 That's a great comeback. Yeah. Sappy yeah. love song. I've been working on it. Right, sounds like it. They like this down tempo stuff, this crap. <laughs> Last ten years, there's only one thing I've known for sure, and that's where I'd be sorted if I went to Hogwarts. I'm thinking back on all the sweaters, robes, and ties I bought. All my clothes are my house colors. Then again, maybe not. What a part of us are we? Good finder, and now you finally found the house for you. Do you want to be raving claw? Everybody's with Luna and Cho Chen. Would be on measure, it's your greatest treasure. You're a pretty ass with your nose stuck in a book. What a pot of more swords in the wrong house. I don't know what I would do. What a pot of more swords in the wrong house. I think I'd freak out. Think ahead, cause all your plans are just ripping door on three. Do you wanna be in Slytherin? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, you're a little evil. But it's pretty cool to get to talk to snakes. Like Christina Horner, you know. <laughs> I don't agree with that. What a bottom sword be in the wrong house. I don't know what I would do. What a bottom or sword be in the wrong house. I think I'd think out. The so one good thing about Pottermore and this official official quiz is that there are all these people that I know that decided they were in one house and they were definitely not in that house. Like uh, my my favorites, two of my roommates, like uh, John Noe, for instance. He says he's in Slytherin, but he's like the nicest guy I know, so he can't be in Slytherin. And like my other roommate, Luke Connor, says he's in Ravenclaw, but I'm like, Luke, you need to know how to read. <laughs> Oh gosh, they're 
lot of cameras. <laughs> Right. 